With robotics, the type that we deal with are all agricultural related. Everything from milking automation, heat prep automation, automated systems for air compressors, uh, vacuum pumps, any kind of equipment that needs to be automated with electronics, wiring. If you make yourself useful, if you make yourself and are able to learn these skills, then you can have a very financially successful career. The reason why I became a welder was, well, I found it fascinating, the, the whole process. It was the after product that was very rewarding. It's neat just seeing everything come together and seeing the finished product. It was interesting that the other um, students in my program, they were really stressed about finding jobs uh, in their third and fourth year. Meanwhile, I had a job two weeks before I even had my last exam. It just seemed that there were so many open doors in ag that didn't really exist for the other people that were not in the agriculture programs. Every magazine you open up, farmers don't think that like there was a photographer that went out to the farm and took those photos. Um, and I think there's a big need for realistic current uh, photos. So. It's not just a guy in a white shirt that looks like he's never worked. It's real photography and local faces. The part that I enjoy the most is challenges and the creativity that you have to be able to develop new products. And you might work on that product for several months to years, and then you can go to your local restaurant down the street and see that you're like, I made that. And I think that's the part, like the rewarding part that you see it. I say at the core of agriculture, there's a farm and there's a family. Every single day I wake up and I get to sit at the kitchen table with generations of farmers. So this week I was on a dairy farm, I was on a beef farm, I was on a cash crop farm. Next week I'm going to a greenhouse with cucumbers and a potato farm. So every day is so different for me, so that keeps it really interesting and intriguing for me to stay in this role. Uh, the number of uh, jobs in the agri-food space compared to the number of graduates coming out of um, traditional agricultural schools, the, the labor gap is wide. Uh, in terms of uh, job security, I think it's an extremely secure sector that's only going to grow in importance. It all comes down to everybody eats, uh, everybody has an interest in food, and if you're working in the agri-food sector, you have the opportunity to um, help shape that. I think I wouldn't like sitting at a desk all day, so I like the variability of my day. I like being able to touch the animals in the morning and then sit in the uh, office in the afternoon and put some data together. So it's very variable and the tasks that I have to do on a daily basis help in the long run for cows and producers overall to help benefit them and their health management styles. Today I'm searching for oocytes in my dish. So the uh, veterinarian collects the sample and then brings it in and then I um, filter it and put it in a dish and then I'm searching for oocytes where I then put into a tube, into an incubator that's um, all temperature controlled and then it goes to another lab but there's so many job opportunities with egg and between veterinarian technicians or egg from nutrition to working in a feed mill or anything. Like there's just so many job opportunities out there to deal with agriculture that it's not just strictly your farmer.